Day one hiking from Vesi Sahara to. Mm, don't know yet. We'll find out. To keep tabs on the 25,000 trekkers who visit the Annapurna circuit every year, the Annapurna Conservation Area Project, or the ACAP, has several checkpoints where hikers sign in, although mostly this is to ensure that they have been milked for proper amounts of money. After having the paperwork inspected, we followed a dirt road along the Marsyangdi River, traversed several dinky streams, and crossed several rickety bridges. Eventually, after several hours, we arrived at the village of Bulbule, which was to be our lunch stop. I had a uh, zip paler failure on my backpack on day one, but my boots are holding out. And how about the views? We're halfway through day one. And uh, the first day is always a bit of a challenge as you try to figure out the kinks in your gear and uh, the old legs are not necessarily used to all the action. Uh, but so far so good. Uh, no one's whinging too much. And as Jamie said, the views are fucking fantastic. Wait a second, how can you say so far so good? We're half a day in and you've already lost three out of the four people you took with you. Yeah, you guys went the wrong way. Uh-oh. Shampoo works best, but fast water, it'll do. Fuck <laughs> 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 uh, Jeremy just discovered the true temperature of glacial water. Woo! And here we are at the Superview Hotel in Barundanda. First thing, off with the boots and into the flip-flops. And off with the quick dry shit so that tomorrow it can be nice and fresh. Wow, the view here is super. That's why it's called Hotel Superview, you dickhead. The second day was a long hike from Barundanda to Jagat. The first part was a groovy shaded walk past rice paddies and through cicada filled forests.
We had a brief lunch stop in Sianj before pushing on towards the final destination of the day. A few hours before Jigat, we got to cross one of the most rickety bridges of the whole trek, if not the whole world. Tumbling off of this one would surely end in death in the icy grip of the Marciangdi, but it was all part of the fun. We got into Jagat in late afternoon and immediately settled into a cozy guest house. So, what's the impressions of second day? Oh, pretty good. Very good. Huh? Why is the camera looking at me? Are you stoned? <laughs> Maybe. Despite the massive climbs, Throughout today's hike, we had enough descent to result in a net loss of 10 meters of elevation. Slightly annoying. Whenever you encounter a mule train, it's a very good idea to stay on a hillside as opposed to the cliffside. Uh, because you probably know that mules are big dumb animals and it's very common for mules to push people off the cliffs. Also, it's a good idea to time yourself when crossing bridges in a way that you don't need a mule train in the middle of it. As you can see, space is not available. On the third day, we started getting into ever more spectacular territory. The four-hour hike to Tao took us through fantastic canyons past phenomenal waterfalls and all-around stunning geology. However, to keep us from enjoying ourselves too much, at the end of the day we saw a 400 meter climb up to Tao, a challenge designed to totally beat the shit out of our legs and backs. And here we are at our cozy hotel in town. Jerry, how did it go? Another easy day on the hiking. Easy day, huh? Yeah, yeah. Blisters? No, no, no blisters. I've repaired my boots. Let's see. I took half a roll of toilet paper. Inside is a boot. Wow, you're a regular shoe engineer. <laughs> you trying to see my blister? Oh, that's a ripper. Oh, look at that. Look at it, look at it. D phone home.